Hi, I'm Kuma, and I'm not the best gamer out there. That kind of feels like an AA meeting started here. <laughs> All right, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Beast Game Akuma, and here we're going to touch base on a few things. A topic that I've talked about before, and it's going on to um, start with the Hell Divers 2 with the developers saying to the community, it come, it's like, you know, they're right. Some people are getting through Hell Divers just fine, and it comes down to a skill issue. And of course, many people are going to be up in arms, ready to get their pitchforks and torches. The scream at the world, ah! Make it fair! No. Now, I'm an old school gamer. Most of y'all didn't go through the trials and tribulations that I've went through. That means going through Street Fighter 2 and fighting Sagat. And I'm talking about vanilla Sagat. I swear to God, that game still gives me nightmares to this day. Learning all the fatalities in Mortal Kombat. There was no or updates we used to had to wait for a new version of the game to come out maybe years down the line we didn't have the luxury of internet waiting talking to developers like directly as easy as most people are we had to learn how to take else and this is where it came into that thought process that we got to stop whining and just get good now i'm not saying that in a troll way because Viva La Dirt League did a great video talking about that same subject with the Sun Bro. Because, you know, most hard games like Souls like games, for example, I was playing Wo Long Fallen Dynasty the other day, and I almost gave up, but I made a mistake of playing while I was angry. I was going through a lot. This, I'm not going to go into too much detail because I feel like I don't really have the right to talk about situations of that nature since I wasn't really close with that person who passed away. But, yeah, a lot of 12 and I plus I was sick and there's a lot of depression and things go through my mind. And I broke my main rule. Do not play while angry because life is already hard. And you're playing a semi-difficult game that's going to add on to that frustration instead of being in the right set of mind to play this game just for fun. And I had many L's. And I almost gave up. I did a whole tweet about it. It was a very dramatic. Kind of a cry, baby. But then I got back on it yesterday. And I demolished the boss. And it felt great. It felt... Yes. And that's the main point. Learning how to take an L and learning from your mistakes to do it good. Even when I was playing Sega, Sonic and Sega All-Stars Transform on my PlayStation Vita. Yeah, it's a bad I ain't got no footage, but I went back to do the harder difficulties to get the three, you know, gold coins. And even then, I was losing a lot, but I learned how to play better and race better. And I feel like we're missing that point of getting into gaming. And also, like I said, learn how to take an L. Back in those days of ranked matches, Halo, Halo 2, when you lost, you got demoted. But then you can go back in and get better because you learned from your mistakes. What is that teammate doing? What is that other team lacking in? You see the flaws and you just calculate on how to play better so you can get the higher score to be a better team player but now i can't remember when it started i think it was call of duty but yeah they added the whole thing that even if you do lose you still get rewarded and that makes no sense to me at the time because most people just troll and just shrug it off and act like whatever because if they lose they still going to get points or get part of that game pass that they paid for or whatever and stuff like that and I'm like, okay, I don't feel really driven to give my 100% in the game that much. I mean, I still do. I mean, I'm not that kind of asshole like some other people, but yeah. But it kind of diminished that whole drive to give it my all next game. Because now we got so many participation awards and you still get ice cream if you come last. Excuse me, I'm still sick. <coughs> And this is what it comes down to. Nothing like seeing, even when I, I never, I got in trouble because I never showed up to award ceremony in public school because 
I was getting an award for perfect attendance, and I'm like, well, I went to school. I don't feel like I need an award for perfect attendance. I understand the kid that got an award for being top in his class and SATs and stuff like that, but an award for doing homework and perfect attendance is just like, eh. Well, I guess I had that type of upbringing though, where my mom looked at me like, well, you're supposed to go to school. What the hell are you getting an award? My reward was Fridays because you know you go to Blockbuster pick up your favorite game, especially where you get that hundred on the test. That was my reward. That's what I look forward to. Shoot, give me a video game if you want to reward me for always going to class, dude. Let me tell you something. But yeah, back to the main point. I feel like sometimes we all have to learn. Like like I said in the beginning, I'm not a, the greatest gamer. There's certain games that I can't play, and I had to accept that. I didn't get, let my ego or pride get in the way because I just shrugged it off. I'm like, look, I'm not good at League of Legends. I tried it. I tried playing it, but it was too salty, and I just couldn't get the mechanics of it. Mobile games were just not for me. Same with Overwatch. I like Reinhardt, but I'm all, I am I didn't like getting yelled at for, to use a different character or, you know, I'm trying my best to follow the the, the healer, and do, it was just too much like, ah, in my, and I'm just like, was just playing the cat. I didn't think this was like we're going into ranked and tournament because some people play hard like that. And I was just like, yeah, nah, that's not me. I stuck to like Call of Duty, even though I'm not the best Call of Duty player. I still have fun from town to town. Good people with the um custom game nights, uh, tattoo game good on thick ankles, good peoples, and I just have straight up fun. Competitive, even though they force us to use sniper rifles, and I suck with sniper rifle. My potato aim is just ugh. I can't stand sniper rifle. But I'm just there to have fun with people. And that's the main point, the fun. And like I said, learning how to take an L, which a lot of people don't know how to. We always got somebody crying for this character to get nerfed, that character to get nerfed. Stop with the, just learn how to beat that character. Real talk. Every time I see something get nerfed, and it, but in, in Hell Dives, I get it because they don't want it too easy for us to take on the enemies and stuff like that, even though they're dungeon masters. Y'all crafty play developers, I'll give y'all props. Y'all very crafty in that, but. When it comes to fighting games or first person shooter games, always something, somebody crying because they can't figure out. And the main thing is, yes, certain guns or certain characters are good. But the thing is that some people put in that work to learn how to use those items. It comes down to the person behind the weapon, behind the characters. That's that skill of, they put that dedication and time to learn each and every strategy and coordination their movesets frame data all that just to be good at that character and the moment you run into somebody and you lose them you want to blame everything else lag oh my controller oh the developers bust that character too much they need to buff my character i'm like well i've seen it happen when they nerf a character and you still lose them then what what's the excuse now i don't it's whatever everybody wants to dodge that realization that maybe you haven't put in enough practice and you need to get better but the simple line is like i said is some people that will say it in a trolling way i'm just telling you i'm keeping 100 with you just get good Simple that. but it's a school night for me i got work tomorrow and i just wanted to touch base on that subject i want to hear your thoughts i like to open up the floor to people let me hear what you got to say on this subject i mean it's okay i mean it's open floor it feels like safe space I'm not going to attack you. And actually, this is the truth. I want to hear your side of it. I'm not going to debate with you. I'm just going to take your opinion on it. That's it. I'm not going to try to fight you and try to trade you over. But if you fit, look, I just giving my two cents on you to just relax, release the anger, and just get better at whatever you're into. That simple. That's what everything. Other than that, yo, hit that like and subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. Keep having great games together. Alright? Beast out.